Just as important, the available water supply should be sufficient to maintain required volume until the incident is over. Remember, these water volumes are only sufficient to keep steel temperatures at an acceptable level provided there is no direct flame impingement on the tank. Also, the water must be applied uniformly to cool the tank surface evenly, or you could cause the tank to fail. To get water on that tank, you've got to get your equipment within the maximum effective spray range of 15 to 30 meters. If your water runs out, you'll be deep in the danger zone as the fire starts to heat up the tank, with maybe just a few minutes to get out of there. Conclusion? Unless you have an adequate supply of water, don't even try to protect a tank from approaching flame. You could end up in a trap. If you see steam rising from the tank surface, get out fast. When is the danger of a blevy over? For a severely weakened tank, the danger is only over when the fire is out and the tank is exhausted of gas. If you see a hole in the tank, you'll know there's no pressure, but then you must watch for gas vapors. So even after the fire is out, avoid approaching the tank and seek expert advice on how to eliminate the remaining hazard. Now, one final thing about bleves. You don't need a fire to have one. Whatever causes a tank to be severely damaged, impact, fatigue, or severe corrosion, a rise in temperature can result in a bleve. A damaged tanker, overturned on the highway and left in the sun for hours, could blow without any fire. To prevent the possibility, the tank should be emptied and or kept cool before pressures and temperatures can rise in the tank. Again, this is where you contact the experts in handling liquefied gas to get the job done. More about that later. The best way to deal with a potential blevy situation is to try to prepare for it and hence prevent it from happening. Survey sites within your area that store, handle or use liquefied gas. Familiarize yourself with their safety equipment and water capacities. Time how long it takes to get to any blevy potential sites and assess what you might be able to do in the event of a fire. Pre-plan your strategies based on knowing your capability for dealing with a potential blevy. Know the size and location of tanks in your area, water supply, volume, duration, capacities of relay units, water volume of monitors, capacities of pumps, available personnel, and backup. Plan observation points for each potential blevy site based on the minimum distances. Assess all areas of risk and develop evacuation plans. Familiarize yourself with tank codes and regulations and report any contraventions. Know how to contact experts in liquefied gases. You can get expert advice fast by calling Transport Canada's Canadian Transport Emergency Centre, Canutech. Call Collect 613-996-6666. They will provide expert advice quickly over the phone. If needed, they will also contact gas industry experts to help in decision making on the site. Canutech can also initiate emergency response assistance plans, ERAP. Finally, keep your eyes open for dangerous tank installations in your area and report them. Any storage or fuel tank placed too close to a building is dangerous and probably illegal. The fact is, your very best response to a potential blevy situation is to prevent one from ever happening. The Canadian Association of Fire Chiefs and Fire Prevention Canada are pleased to have had the opportunity of participating with Transport Canada in the production of this training aid. It is a significant addition to training material. It provides a realistic summary of procedures that should be followed when first responders are confronted with the presence of pressure liquefied gas, such as propane, at the scene of a fire. Remember, caution is the watchword, prevention is the key.